Good morning. So I just had to share this with everyone today because it just popped in my head. I'm not a super overly religious person, but a lot of people out there are. A lot of people are evangelical, overly religious, thinks everything should be done their way and they're judgmental and all of that. However, I just think it's so interesting that in this pandemic, um, God is, is in everything. We know that. And God placed this pandemic on us. And we know for a fact that God places things on us to see what we will do with it, to see how we will react, to see how we will get through it. And it's interesting and it's funny that so many people want to go against that. Um, God is testing our patience at this moment. He is testing our patience. 2020 is the year of tested patience. And I'm sure a lot of you will agree with that. Um, but God is testing our patience right now. And so instead of a lot of us sitting and being patient, what's, I, I don't quote scriptures very well, but there's a scripture about sitting still, be still. Instead of us sitting still and being still and being patient, some of y'all want to be out in the streets protesting why I got to wear a mask, why I got to do this. This is my rights um, to not wear a mask. That's not your right. We're in the middle of a public health crisis, public health crisis, which means we should all be working together to make sure that other people are healthy. We should all be working together to wear our masks, to stay home as much as possible, to only go to the places where you need to go, which is what they told us in March. And we should should still be doing that. And I get some places are social and open right now. And I've been out and about a little bit, but we should not be gathering in large rallies with 5 million people all crammed together where no one's wearing a mask. That's not considerate of anybody. That's not Christian. That don't have nothing to do with, with God. And the people that say, well, God, he's got me and he's going to cover me if I don't wear my mask. He might, and he might not, because again, he has told us the instructions of what we need to do. This test, some of y'all are failing big time. So, hey, that's on you. But all I, you know, all I'm saying is for the rest of this 2020, we can't control any of this. 2020 has been whew, a bear to all of us, whether it's losing your job, whether it's getting laid off, whether it's you know, having a loved one get sick from COVID or cancer or other things. I lost my mom this year and this is crazy. Like 2020, nothing else could possibly happen. I mean, I know something else is going to happen because at the rate that 2020 has been going, <laughs> there's going to be probably five more things between now and December that happen. And no one can wait for January 1st, 2021 more than me, <laughs> more than this girl right here. But, you know, I just, you know, I just wanted to share that with y'all because it just dawned on me that patience is what everyone seems to be lacking nowadays. Um, you know, patience, patience with, you know, the issues of police brutality, patience with everything that's going on right now. God is testing us. And y'all know I don't get on here and talk in, in religious tones at all ever, but God is testing us. He's, he's given us this test to say, hey, what, what are you going to do with it? So my question to you or my call to action to you before I end this video is, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with 2020? I know for me, I've committed to focus on my writing, which is a gift that God gave me that I need to use more. So I'm focusing on that. But what are you focusing on? Because if we focus on the um, pandemic, if we focus, there's nothing we could do about it. The only thing we could do is wear our masks and stay at home. To those of you who don't want to wear your mask, that's all we can do. That's the only way we can control any of this. But if we continue not to do it, those of you who, who don't feel like it's your job to do it, then I don't know what to tell you. No one likes wearing masks. Don't nobody. 
nobody like wearing these masks. <sighs> can't breathe, especially if it's hot outside. Can't breathe. Uh, they're uncomfortable. But we got to wear them because we got to protect ourselves and we got to protect kids, protect our elderly, protect people out in public. For those of you who don't get it, it's for protection of everyone. And for those of you who are naysayers who do not believe that COVID-19 is real, I don't know what world y'all are living in, but it's real. Just like every other disease is real. If you can believe in, in AIDS and cancer and all these other diseases, what the heck can't you believe that there's a virus going around killing people? The numbers are already almost at 200,000. That's the number of miles I got on my car. And that took several years to get those miles on my car. This took six months to wipe out almost 200,000 people. Come on, put this in perspective, people. Come on. So again, the call to action is, what you gonna do with the rest of 2020? Cause 2020 ain't done with us. So what you gonna do with the rest of it? How you gonna use it? How you gonna battle what's going on out there? Okay, have a great day. I just needed to send this message to everybody and peace.